ينصح الخبراء اليابانيين باتخاذ الاجراءات التالية سبسكرايب لايك كومنت فيفرت In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect a USB device to a virtual machine. As an example, I'm going to be connecting a wireless adapter to my Kali machine. But the same method can be used to connect any USB device. Now, as mentioned in the course requirements, you need a wireless adapter for the cracking section of this course. So these are the lectures where we're going to show you how to crack the passwords for Wi-Fi networks. Other than that, you can do everything else in the course without a wireless adapter. What I mean by a wireless adapter is a USB device that connects through USB to your computer and it allows you to communicate with wireless networks. Now most computers and laptops come with a built-in wireless card. The only problem is, first of all, you can't access built-in wireless cards from a virtual machine. Also, even if you can, so even if you install Kali as a main machine, the built-in wireless cards are not good for hacking because we need a powerful adapter that supports monitor mode and packet injection. And we're going to go into what each of these mean. But basically, the built-in wireless adapter does not support these modes and can't be used for hacking. That's why I recommend powerful wireless adapters. They're listed in the course requirements and I'm going to list them in the resources of this lecture and you can connect them to Kali like I'm going to show you right now. So I already have VirtualBox open and you just want to click the machine that you want to connect the adapter to. We're going to go to its settings. We're going to go to ports. We're going to go to USB and make sure that USB is enabled and you want to pick the USB option that is used by your adapter so it's either USB 1, 2 or 3 and for the adapter that I have it uses USB 2 then you want to come here to the plus sign and click on it now you'll see that I have a number of devices that I can attach to the Kali machine now I still haven't connected the adapter so first of all, I'm just going to have a look on the available devices. Then I'm going to connect the adapter. And I'm going to list the devices again. I did that because we're assuming that I don't know the name of my adapter. Because the name that you'll see here is the name of the chipset that's used inside the adapter. So it's not the brand name that you see on the adapter itself. So when I click on it now, you'll see that I have a new entry called Atheros and this is actually my wireless adapter it's an Alpha AWS 036NHA so I'm gonna click on it that's it added here I'm gonna click on OK and that's the adapter added to Kali now before we can start Kali we have to install VirtualBox extensions to allow VirtualBox to use this USB device now the download link will be included in the resources. I have the page already opened in here. And you can see in here we have a link for VirtualBox extension pack and you can just click on this link to download it. Now this will only work for VirtualBox 5.1.22. If you have a different version, so to get your version, you can just go to VirtualBox about VirtualBox. If you're on Windows, you'll have to go to file about VirtualBox and you'll see that I'm on 5.0.20 so I'll have to come back here and I don't have the latest version so I'm gonna have to go down to the VirtualBox older builds go on 5.0 and look for 5.0.20 and download its extension pack so if you have the latest version that's listed on the main page, then download it from there. If you have an older version, go to the old builds like I did, scroll down and download the one that is compatible with your version. Now once it's downloaded, you'll be able to find it in your downloads or to whatever location you downloaded it to. And then you can just double click it to install it. So this is the one that's compatible with my virtual box. I'm gonna double click it. And as you can see, for me, it's telling me that it's already installed. 
For you, it's just going to give you an install button. For me, it's called reinstall. So I'm just going to reinstall it just to show you how it's going to go. And we'll need to scroll down and agree. Put your password. And that's it. The extension pack is installed. So I'm going to hit enter. Now, before starting my virtual machine, I'm going to physically disconnect my wireless adapter. And then I'm going to connect the adapter once Kali fully loads. Now I'm going to start it. So I'm going to put my username, which is root, and my password, which is T-O-O-R. Okay, now Kali is fully loaded. I'm going to go and physically connect my wireless adapter. And like I said, I usually do this just to avoid any conflicts. Now, once the adapter is connected, you want to make sure that it's attached to Kali. And to do that, we're going to go to the devices menu. So we're going to go all the way to the top. We're going to go to devices. We're going to go on USB. And we're going to make sure that this adapter right here is checked. Now, sometimes it might not be checked for you. So click on it to check it. For me, it's already checked. So I'm not going to click it. And to confirm that the adapter is connected, we can just go on terminal right here and type if config. This command lists all the interfaces that's connected to the machine. And as you can see now, it's showing an adapter called LAN0, which is the wireless adapter. So if you have this in here, that means your adapter is connected. If you don't, then ask in the discussions and I'll help you through this. Some adapters are not compatible with Kali, so that could be the issue or the issue could be something else. Also, now if we go here on the top right, you'll see that I have a Wi-Fi option, which I can use to connect to Wi-Fi networks. Now, we don't need to do this because I showed you how to set up a NAT network and Kali already has internet access through this NAT network. So we only need the wireless adapter to hack into other networks to crack their passwords. Subscribe, like, comment, favorite.